Hey everybody, it's Blue Turd and welcome back to Sonic Mania. Now that we're in Hydra City, which means we're underwater, we need some bubbles to stay alive under the water. So let's see how we go through here. We need to press the jump button to break those. We need to grab that chain to open up this path here. And let's just see what we can do without dying. Nope. That's not good. Oh, and I'm running out of air. Get to the bubbles, get to the bubbles, get to the bubbles. Bubbles, give me give me the air, thank you. If the bubbles do not give you the air that you need, you're going to be in trouble. But there's also some other things that are going to come into effect later on in this level. Which also give us air, but also, yeah, we'll figure it out when we get there. Anyway, let's go up here, please. Give me the bubble. Thank you. Okay, let's grab onto that, which does... Blows the water level apparently, which means we can get into this boat here. And depending on which side of the boat you're on, you make it go in directions. So let's go up here and dash a lot because it holds us in place to make us dash. And now, oh, this is interesting. I've okay, I see what's happening here. Let's grab this, which is going to raise the water level. And now we need to press on the switch here. Which puts us in a bubble, which means we can't... We get air automatically while we're in the bubble, bubble. And now we can move around here to try and get over to here. Onto another boat. Oh my goodness, I nearly fell off. But if we can get up here, we need to be careful of this guy who likes to shoot a rocket right up where we would jump into. Which is a pretty good trap. Okay, I don't remember this part of the level. Get up there, get up there, get up there, don't get crushed. Thank you. Grab that. So the water's level's lower now. Oh, we need to do that, okay. That's fine. Let's go down this way. See where it takes us. We can go across the water when we're going at high enough speed. This is fairly automatic for most of this. Grab that, please. And now if we can go up here... Oh, no, 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 no! Wow, that worked. Oh, get up there! Okay. Bubble time. Oh, where are you going? Up, please. Need to be careful not to get popped on anything, pretty much. And go up all the way, up to this checkpoint. You can go back here, but it doesn't take you to anything important. So let's just stand on this. And go over here. Those fly enemies are... strange. Oh my goodness, really? I just want rings. Oh my goodness. I can't have it, apparently. Let's go at full speed. And grab onto that. Let's go down now. Oh, there's actually a ring box up there. Can I grab that? Although I think I'm too low now. Speed? Nope. Let's use this boat, though, to go over this way. Okay, careful of all those. Another one of these guys trying to mess with us. Okay, that should have worked, but the thing grabbed me to make me go fast, and that just was a bad combination of things. Anyway, we should be fine with those things trying to shoot at me. Okay, let's go up here and down again. It's nice not having to worry about breathing. It's like real life. I mean, if you think about it, how often do you actually think about breathing? Do you ever just think about breathing and realize you forgot you were thinking about breathing? You know what I mean. Anyway, we saw Eggman in the wall just swimming around. Which is interesting, and also means that we're getting close to the end of the level. So let's just speed through this. Um, I might need a bubble. Tails also has his own separate air supply as well. I have Eggman setting some bombs on the sides of these pillars, which means... Uh, suffering is going to happen. Also, I love the music that plays in those cutscenes. It seems very... I don't know, it just feels... something. Feels goofy, yet also somewhat serious at the same time. 
But we need to go through this quickly because we need to be very quick because the ceiling's also collapsing on us. Oh, I messed up already. Dash up here quick, 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 quick. The ceiling's not going to stop up until that point, I don't think. And now we have to fight Eggman. If we can get in front of him, though, before he drops a bomb and then hold down the jump button, we can pull him into us to do damage. We just need to be careful for his bombs. You can also press down to drop those things to break the bombs, but generally just be in front of Eggman and pull him in. And let go as soon as you hit him. So there we go. Come on, thank you. And this shouldn't take too long as well. Come on, nope, it's going too fast. The bomb that is. Come on, he's right there, good. Oh, I missed, how? Come on, pull him in. That's good. And we got him. I don't know how he's exploding, but he was. Anyway, let's head on over here, which I think happens automatically, and we can now jump out of that to move on. Oh, got a thing there. Water shield. That's Act 1. And now for Act 2. I really like the Act 2s. They just feel really cool. Hydro City Zone 2. And now we get to go fast. Which means we fall immediately. But anyway, if we can go up here, that'd be good. On these platforms, you don't have to worry about falling off left or right as long as you're spinning. Just need to be ready to... hang on. I want... no, I guess I'm going. I was gonna build up the more speed, but I guess this is enough speed already, so... Oh my goodness, this guy again. Let's go up. Oh, get up there! Oh, nearly missed this path. Spin to you. Let's go. There's a lot of running in this zone, or this act, which is cool. Grab some rings, and full speed, let's go. Okay, just gonna be careful of these shark missiles, I guess. Don't, no, cool. Thank goodness for shields. Okay. Full speed ahead. I want to get up here as well now. Just need to wait for the platform to come back down again. And there we go. Jump over the spikes. And let's use these fans to go up. Oh, more up. More up. Okay. We're good. There's a special um, invincibility box in there that I don't think you can get to from there. But anyway, we want to make sure we go hold down that bit so we actually run across the water and go a long way over here. And now we want to actually spin through this and run through this. We're doing really well on rings right now. Let's grab... Oh, I missed the invincibility and lost everything. Cool. Just great. Just my luck as well. Oh, special ring up here. Which I guess I have to fail now. It's- this- this last one isn't actually that hard, so... I'm not too concerned about leaving it for later. <laughs> it's just so funny to see him just run off the edge. Anyway... We'll get that later. I don't even want to preview it just to- Just so I ac Just because I'm probably gonna accidentally do it. And I don't want to right now. Anyway, let's go over this way now. There's, p there's several paths you can go if you- Depending which direction you hold when you get out of that. Spin. Um, can I be very careful here? I don't want to hit myself on spikes. Let's grab that. Let's go up this way. Also, I believe when we lose rings with this, they also are fairly big and going all around the place all wonkily, which makes it easier to collect them as well, so. Get up here. Ow. Yeah, like that. That's what they look like. 
Okay, we're good. Just need to get up here now. Which I do recognize this path, so I've been up this way before. Okay. I think there's also a dash thing there, yeah. There is. Hold down. And we're at the end. So let's head down here, get some randomly placed rings, and then grab these all here because we can't break off of this yet because we have the boss up here. So we just need to hold up and down to change direction, and if we press those switches on these mines, we can actually activate them so that they hit Eggman and do damage. This is, this is how it basically goes. And the game does give you air as we go along, so make sure you don't die. Except Tails is probably going to have a lot of trouble staying alive. Split path. Just need to be careful. And we're pretty much good. It's not a very tricky boss. Just need to make sure that you move Eggman down into the bombs once they're activated. So that he hits them. Oh, that was a bad move. That's okay. Just need to stay alive a little bit longer, and we're out of this section. Which is a bit of a problem. It gives us some rings there, though. Which is probably a good thing, because we actually need to go through this part of the boss now, which is a little bit harder to do. Especially when I do that. But the real problem comes when... Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. We get to this bit, because he's gonna stop moving, but he starts activating this fan which moves us in the water and we can't do anything. And we need to get out of the water to keep getting air. So I'm going to probably want to do that straight away. Oh, be very careful. Just need to keep hitting him. We can keep hitting him whenever. But we need to... Oh, please, rings, rings. Okay, good. We just need to hit him when he's doing things and we need to dodge his... the things orbiting him. The rockets, I guess. If you have invincibility frames after getting hit by something, it's good because you can usually do damage after that. There we go. Just in time. Let's hit this egg thing, I don't know. And there we go, we got through Act 2. Mirage Saloon, Zone 1, or Act 1, that one. Got this, uh, magician egg bot thing. And we've also got this, um, plane section, I guess. Which, wherever you move, the plane will make a platform for you by moving. But if we just hold down our spin, we can actually do quite a lot without taking damage, for the most part. Projectiles will still hit us and do damage, so we need to be careful of that. We also need to be careful of those floating guys there because they count as platforms and if you get stuck on them, it'll mess everything up, basically. But this spin makes everything easier in this section, so... Right up until the very end, pretty much. Because the very end is where I always get hit for some reason. Makes it a very easy to just kill everything and get rings, though. By doing this. You just need to make sure you pre keep pressing up because while you're spinning, you have to keep holding down, which is going to push the plane down. But anyway, we're doing well. I'm also going to just avoid that uh, the shield, just because we don't need it. Okay. I think we're getting close to the end now, so I probably want to go down just to be safe, I hope. Oh, those guys drop stuff below them. Okay, that's what they do. I I never figured out what those cactus enemies did. But they just... Oh, I need to be very careful here. I'm just gonna go up and then... No! Yeah, that's why I always get hit, because I don't move. And so that, that, that projectile is always in line with me. But 
Bagman's in a train. And at the very start of the train, though, is a special ring. You just need to jump to the left and then down to the right to get into it. Otherwise, you'll fall off the tracks and die. Speaking of falling off the tracks... I didn't die, though. It's, it's fairly difficult to get into for your first time, but it's not that bad. After you've had some practice of getting in. Just need to hop, jump to the right, or the, the left, and as you're in midair, hold to the right. But there we go. It's another special ring down, so let's keep moving across this train and see if we can uh, get to the other end without much trouble. And jump into this gun. And we get shot back up into the air for the boss. Again, just spin and hold up, basically. I think I've been hit in the spin, though, before. And I don't know why, but it only happened once, so I should be fine to just hold this spin forever. Yeah, that's... that's... yeah. So it does... it has hit me. I don't know why it hits me, though. Must be something that does it, but I'm, I'm still fine. <laughs> I really hope I don't die now. But I should be fine. Just need to wait for the boss to actually go directly into me. It's possible that I'm that it, if it hits if it goes below me too early, it probably hit I, I probably hit the spikes. Is probably what happens. Can you please attack me properly? No, apparently not. Let me move to the middle of the screen and then spin there. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, that was close again. It's really missing me a lot, though. Somehow. Hang on, I'm gonna move. Probably. There we go. This might be a better strategy to go up and down, depending on where it is, so you can dodge out of the way if you need to, or if you need to make sure that you line up properly with it. Oh, too, too much, too much. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, I believe in you. Hit me, thank you. Just one more hit or so should do it. If he's actually gonna hit me though. Please. Oh, come on, please. You're so close. I think he's off-centered. Somehow. Let me go down. There we go. It was one more hit. Cool. But there we go. That's that se section done. Oh my goodness, the sign. Also, in that cutscene, different characters actually shoot down your plane as well. I'm pretty sure, because I've had it be a different character previously, I'm pretty sure. Can't go back, so let's go forward. Mirage Saloon Act 2, which is a pretty cool one, and I'm pretty sure is fairly easy to get two special rings, I think? Or well, maybe I'm just thinking about the one from the, the train level that I'm thinking of that was easy. Because I kind of merged the two acts together in my brain for some reason. Also, I can push this out of the way. Actually, I think there might be two that I can get. Tails, you're making this very difficult. Okay, we can go down here and run across this up into the star. Oh, I didn't do it because I'm bad. And I don't think I can do it again. Probably not, but you can, if you do manage to run up there, probably with a spin beforehand, you get that special ring. Now, is there a second one that I can think of? Not really. If there is, it's probably more up than I currently am. Please go down. Let's bounce ourselves. Oh, I'm going all over the place now. Also, these guys are annoying because they spin as well. But with these platforms here with the the bumpers, basically, 
You just need to press the jump button whenever you want to go. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just dying for some reason. I uh, just need to make sure you press the jump button whenever you want to get launched by it, basically. So let's sh do that. And then... nope, too early. I don't know really where I want to go right now, but every all these things that we can bounce off of up here, bouncing us up, give us points and all that. Oh, I'm going places. I'm up here now. I guess that works. So let's see what we have up here, maybe. Although I don't know if I can actually get through there, especially not like this. Especially not like this. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Just gonna go slow, and... Okay, no. Let's not go up that way, then. Bounce off the piano. Just all over the place, oh my goodness. Also, gun, apparently. I don't think I've seen this place before. It's fine. Another thing here. Making us go fast. And all over the place. Oh, please don't hit me. Okay, we're back on the main track again. Go down, please. And this is the boss. If I believe we can spin in the middle to actually get this to work out for us. But this magician guy goes into his box and makes a character come out. And if we can actually hit him after we've hit him, that is how it works. Please, please, nope. So you have to hit the character that appears, and then you have to hit him once he comes out of his... ...disguise, I guess. I'm doing really bad right now. Like, unbelievably bad. Usually spinning is good, though, because you... ...hit him instantly, and then you can spin into him. Oh my goodness. Please. Please! There we go. Oh my goodness, there goes my last ring. Oh, I got it back, somehow. It must have bounced off of an invisible wall that you can't actually see. Okay, another character. They all have different projectiles that they use. But it's generally the same kind of deal of just jump into them. Good music again. Okay. Oh, ring. Thank you. So close, so close, so close. So close, and there we go. My ring's gone. Okay. I got a cool bonus. And now for Oil Ocean Zone, Act 1. This place is... interesting, to say the least. It's got fans, it's got enemies, and it's also got these platforms that get shot out, which have fire underneath them, so you need to dodge that, I think. It's fire. But yeah, this is one of the harder zones, which is a good thing because it's later on in the game, so technically, you know, that's the way the games usually run. But you have to be very careful. Also, that fire shield box down there is a trap. Oh, I just saw that. What is... How do I get that? Do I... No, I don't want to... I don't want to try jumping down through the spikes. Let me try going down... This way, maybe? Oh, please. No fans, 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 no! Where am I going right now? The game really doesn't want me to go that way. I can't even spin properly. So I guess I missed that, maybe? It's a shame if so. It's there, it's there, I just don't know how to do it. There's probably a, another way to get in that. That I don't, don't know about properly. But anyway, I think I know where... I'd... No. Maybe? Oh, maybe I just need to build up speed? No, that would make sense. Ah, pain. Okay, let's try this again. Try to go up from here. 
Or maybe down? Oh, hang on. I'm going all over the place. I'm, over, I'm up here now. Okay, cool. Because you could probably get underneath the elevators after they go up. Okay. Slide down a lot of this. Oh, careful. Okay, let's go up. And then... Nope. Not like that. Oh, there goes my rings. And I didn't even get any of them, even though I had the big rings. Okay, I think I can also possibly push one of the spikes in this level to get something. But I can't remember how to do that. Also, I feel like this is a good way to go. Possibly. Oh, please don't hit me. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is the one that you can push, okay. So I can go down here and get a 1-up. It's not really useful, but, you know. It's it's still a 1-up. And that'll be good if I die a lot. Which I probably will. Let's grab that electricity shield. And let's go this way, I guess. Okay, need to dodge a lot of things over here, apparently. Which is probably good to have a double jump for. I keep seeing the the walls, and it looks like the special rings, so I'm... Yeah, I'm just getting confused by everything right now, it's fine. There's also a bunch of cannons that will shoot you around the place, if you want to. Go around everywhere. Oh, no, I got hit by the thing. That's fine. Let's go up this way. Okay, we're good. We're so good. Should be getting close-ish to the end of this, I think. Oh, go, fans. In the way. Oh, here we go. Have this boss thing, which you can't touch its propeller underneath it. Which makes this difficult, and it also throws its wrench at you. And whenever it does that, it means that these go up. And you need to be in the middle because the side ones go into spikes. But there we go. Everything burns. And now this is actually very interesting because it actually puts us in the middle of the screen where the flag or the the goal post falls. And it's perfectly in line, so we could just keep jumping forever and keep getting more points. But we're not we don't need that, so let's just let that drop. Maybe. one up apparently and now we have foggy air every now and then that we need to deal with which will be a bit of a problem because we'll lose rings over time while it's foggy let's push into this and then let go so we really need to get through this quickly and not be bad at the game Pretty much. Grab that switch, please. Grab that lid. Pull it. Thank you. We can also go into submarines. Which are little secret areas, I guess. Kind of. But they generally just have... Uh, air for you to breathe as one thing. But not that very long. And uh, very simple. I feel like there's supposed to be a secret here, but oh well. Let's jump onto this, breaking it and launching ourselves out. Okay, I don't think... I've not seen this part of level before, so... Also, if you have a fire shield, the oil around here will get set on fire, which is... a bit horrifying. But I don't think it actually hurts you if it's on fire, as long as you don't get hit by something. And lose your flame shield. I'll oh, go fast, we're running out of air. I feel like I could have gone into the wall here somewhat, somehow, maybe, maybe I still can, I need to get a lever to clear the air, oh there's one up there, except I can't reach it right now, oh air, thank you, I saw my rings flashing which means I was gonna die, okay, let's just keep going the normal way now, Go quickly if we can. Ok, 
Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I need... Oh my goodness. I don't like these things. I like air though, so let's grab that. And hopefully this way is the way that I can actually go. Looks like it is, and it's going to launch us through these cannons, which I don't think you can die while you're in these cannons, probably. They also probably aren't long enough to kill you if you run out of air. Is this a wall that I can go through? I never know which walls I can go through. There's too many things everywhere. Oh, very careful. Fire shield, which means everything's gonna burn. Everything's gonna burn. Please jump up the oil, because that's how that works. Oh, burning. I'm sorry, Tails. Tails is gonna have a lot of trouble where everything's on fire. Okay. Having a fire shield is actually gonna be useful to go up these slopes quickly. Another submarine. I believe we can actually get into this as well if we go up here. So let's do that. Oh, just don't die. That's a good start. And if I can also get through here, that'd be great as well. It's also a ring box if you can get over that without breaking it. As soon as you break it, it just automatically shoots you out. So. There we go, everything's on fire, as it should be. Um, and let's go through this, if we can. I think we're getting close to the end. I think there's one more submarine first, though, that we can go through right here. This is the usual route that I go through now, with these two submarines. Don't usually go through the first one I went through earlier. Okay, we're good. We're so good. And we can also grab that while we're here. Cool. Let's find out where we end up now. At the boss, apparently. This is also a very interesting boss. I wonder if what happens if I stand in the fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder if that does damage the boss, maybe? Also, we want to get across here if we can, just so we can have an easier... Have just have so we have more time to dodge. Oh my goodness. Where am I? Oh, rings, please. Nope. Also, we need to break those... black balls on top. <gasps> So we can not get shot by them while we're trying to take out the boss's main body. Don't duck for that one. Don't, don't worry about that one. If it's on the bottom level, you have to jump over it because it's a wide thing. Oh, please don't die now. I have no rings. Okay. Just be very careful. Which side is it going to be on? Just want to be on the opposite side so I just have more time to react. Okay, good. Oh, please. Oh, please. Thank you. There we go. A <laughs> hundred points. Lava Reef Zone, Act 1. And we need to get off of that quickly because otherwise we're going to go down with the ship, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.